how do you think uh, the, the people who were involved in, 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 these, uh, in, in the storming of the Capitol, how should they be treated by your Justice Department? Should they be treated as domestic terrorists? Yes, they should be treated as they're a bunch of thugs, insurrectionists, white supremacists, anti-Semites. Six N is not enough. I mean, come on, you know, these shirts they're wearing? These are a bunch of thugs, thugs, and they're terrorists, domestic terrorists. And that'll be a judgment for the, the Justice Department to make as to what the charges should be. But the fact is, they should be prosecuted. They should be prosecuted. The difference here is, this had the active encouragement of a sitting president of the United States. And the way in which the breakdown in security occurred needs to be thoroughly investigated. I'm not going to prejudge what it was, but the idea, the idea that these people were able to just march up the stairs, march in, and do it in the way with, we had, there's a great debate, I don't know the answer, great debate now. Was, as, as the governor of Maryland correct when he said that I was ready to send in the National Guard, I couldn't get authorization? What happened? It deserves a full-blown investigation. People to be held accountable and act steps taken that something like this could never happen again. And the difference this time is everybody, every nation has dealt, every democracy has dealt with individual terrorist attacks by groups that are in very targeted. The largest target was 9-11 and the buildings. Well, right down to blowing up, you know, a bomb going off in the Capitol when I was there, two policemen. But the idea that thousands of people, thousands of people could be marching up the steps of the United States Capitol, breaking windows, breaking doors, forcing their way in, stepping aside. And the photographs of, well, I don't know what the circumstances, the photograph of it looked like you had some of the Capitol Police taking selfies with these people. That has to be thoroughly investigated. The authorities responsible have to be held accountable for the failures that occurred and we have to make sure that this can never, ever happen again.